Slipping rib syndrome is a condition of pain in the lower chest wall caused by a deformity in the false cartilages, 8 through 10. Normally, these cartilages connect to the ribs above until the seventh rib, which is connected directly to the sternum. This functions to stabilize the chest wall and the ribs. In slipping rib syndrome, the false cartilages do not connect to each other and can move against each other, causing pain where they touch. Under each rib and cartilage, there is an intercostal nerve that can be irritated by compression or contact from the slipping rib below. This can be caused by certain repetitive movements, such as those seen during rotation, bending, and playing sports. Slipping rib syndrome is diagnosed on physical exam by palpating the lower costal cartilages and feeling the movement of the cartilages against each other. Dynamic ultrasound is a radiologic modality that can allow for direct visualization of slipping rib syndrome in real time. For some patients, conservative therapy is all that is needed to help this pain. Rest, NSAIDs, ice, and topical analgesics are used to treat slipping rib syndrome initially. Physical therapy can sometimes make the pain of slipping rib syndrome worse by aggravating the intercostal nerves. For those patients in which conservative therapy is not helpful, there are other treatments including diagnostic and therapeutic injections. For refractory patients, surgery is an option. A surgical correction involves an incision on the lower lateral chest wall. The muscles are then separated down to the cartilages. The slipping ribs are easily palpated and identified at this point. The cartilages are exposed and removed in their entirety to the level of the bone. This prevents cartilage regrowth. After removing the cartilage, if the bony ends are still able to move against each other, a bioabsorbable vertical plate is sewn to the ribs to stabilize them. This plate will dissolve within two years, leaving scar tissue in its place to decrease the risk of the bony ribs causing persistent pain. In some instances, cryotherapy is used to help with postoperative pain control. A cold probe is used to freeze the intercostal nerves at each level that was operated upon. This acts to temporarily disconnect the nerves from the central nervous system, thus decreasing sensation of surgical pain. Usually, sensation returns within six to eight weeks. The incision is then cleansed, and sutures are used to close the tissue in layers. The patient is generally admitted overnight for pain control and discharged the following day.